What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you a full room tour of my setup, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so we are going to start this room tour off in the right corner with the TV. We'll get to all of this good stuff later in the video, but for right now, let's go ahead and take a look over here. And the reason I decided to do this is because basically I made one of these three months back in May. Uh, that was my office and gaming setup tour of May 2012. And now I have done a lot of new stuff in August. Obviously I have the new TV here and that wasn't in the previous video. And of course I'm going to put all the links and annotations to all of the other links and like unboxings and reviews of TVs and Xboxes and whatever I show in this video. So basically look for that annotation if you want to learn more about a specific thing that I talk about. So right here on the right side is the right speaker of my Sony hi-fi system. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this is actually called because I can't remember. This is the Sony Hi-Fi component system and the model is MHC EC909 looks like IP. So guys if you're interested in that thing, this thing is really awesome. That subwoofer over there produces a lot of bass and if you want this thing, I think it's like 200 bucks or 250 bucks at Walmart, Best Buy, they sell it basically anywhere. And this is probably one of the best sounding sound systems that I've ever heard. Um, you obviously can have an auxiliary plugged into it. That's how I have it plugged into my TV. And you can turn it on and it looks really cool. And I keep it at 15 because that's loud enough for me. But this thing goes all the way up to 30, which is the max. So you can tell that this thing is pretty powerful. Obviously, you have controls for your iPhone and iPod Touch. Uh, which you can actually put right here and it docks so that's pretty cool really like that feature and um, you can turn off the subwoofer if you don't want that but who does that the subwoofer is the best part and you can also do CDs and stuff it's really dusty under here but you can do CDs and stuff if you want but who's, who really uses CDs nowadays so let's go ahead and move up to the good thing here this is the Samsung uh, 46 inch 1080p LED smart TV bought this thing at Costco I think it was like 1200 bucks and I really love this TV guys it's really nice it has great picture quality and I use it with my Xbox 360 which is over here I use that uh, to stream Netflix and all that stuff this thing does have its own smart system so it does have Netflix and Hulu and all that good stuff but uh, it's kinda weird like it doesn't let you mess with the settings while you're actually in the application but I use the, the Xbox 360 for that reason because I feel like it's a better streaming device that has pretty much everything Amazon Instant Video uh, HBO Go, Netflix, Hulu Plus, pretty much everything this is the thing to get if you want to stream anything really here's a cleaning cloth that I just used to clean this thing because it's nice and dusty and yeah, this is the Xbox 360. Let's go ahead and turn this on for you and turn on the TV as well. Yeah, there's the left speaker and here's all my games for the Xbox. Right now I have NCAA Football 13 and you can just go ahead and read those. I'm going to be picking up Madden here pretty soon. Madden 13. New physics look awesome on it, so that's pretty cool. Right here is the Magic Mouse that I'm probably going to be using with my Retina MacBook Pro when that thing comes in. Look for an unboxing and review on pretty much anything you want on the retina macbook pro when i get it down here we got the dish thing that i don't even use i should probably just return that and cancel the service and here's a printer that i use for uh, air print and wireless printing got some gift cards and stuff and down there you don't even want to know there's just a bunch of crap so uh... yeah here's my tv and basically i use the tv i sit right here in this nice comfy chair and here's a side table i have where i keep my controller and the samsung remote and here's actually a iPhone cable and iPad charger so I can charge it up while I'm sitting here playing games and this is what it looks like when I'm here and trust me it looks a lot bigger than it shows on camera but this is the Samsung 46 inch I could have probably gone for 55 in this room but eh, 46 is perfectly fine for me so if you can tell that I get the subwoofer the left and right speaker so yeah, this is basically my setup, and we'll go over all the stuff up there later. Um, but for right now, let's go ahead and take a look to the left of me. And there it is. Those are my computers. That is how I produce all these videos. So basically, this is what it looks like when I'm walking in. If you guys want to get a nice tour of this area, there's my chair, which is pretty comfortable. 
some Clorox wipes back there. Let's go ahead and start right here. Carmex, keep the lips nice and moisturized. Uh, dish remote, don't even use it. Some gum, my wallet, iPhone. This thing is the remote to the actual speaker system down there, so I can go ahead and turn the thing on and off and mess with all the settings, some tissues, glass to keep water in, gotta stay hydrated all the time. Bose headphones did a review on those, you can go ahead and check those out, really nice. Uh, Arrowhead, my iPad, which is off right now, here's we go. There we go, that's my iPad, this is the new one the uh, Verizon 4G LTE model. Alright, so moving on to the computer setup here, we have the 24 inch Apple Cinema Display and the way I have this set up is this is my external monitor to the iMac using uh, Thunderbolt. So this is uh, what we have here. iTunes open up there, Bohemian Rhapsody of course, gotta get the nice queen going on. And iMessage down here and Twitter is right there. So that's my external display, but my main display is the 27 inch iMac. This is a quad core i7 one with uh, 12 gigs of RAM right now. This is basically how I have it set up. I got my YouTube channel going on here, as you've probably seen multiple times before. There's my YouTube channel. This is how I'm going to upload all my videos and all that good stuff. I use the Blue Yeti microphone for my audio. You probably heard this one in the beginning of the video when I was doing the introduction. Uh, basically this thing is what produces my really good quality audio and right now I'm just using my microphone on my Sony uh, camcorder so you can tell a huge difference between the, those and yeah that's basically my setup for my desk here let's go ahead and take a quick look and I do have that mirror in the background there don't even get in there so it doesn't really matter for me I don't really know about this glass desk though because I'll probably replace this and get something that is not see-through because it is kind of annoying seeing all the wires and stuff back there Go ahead and take a look. As you can tell, I got some wire infestation right here. I mean, it doesn't really bother me since I'm looking at the front of the computer, but when I walk into my room here, I do see them. Not really that big of a deal. And I try to hide the wires here. I have my camera uh, tripod right here. I try to hide the wires behind that and the trash can. And there is the power source, obviously. So this is what it looks like when I'm walking into the room. Just get a full look here. So yeah, that's basically my setup guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things I got on the wall here. And guys, you might have noticed that I am a huge Giants fan. I love the Giants. They're an amazing team. Uh, I'm really glad they won the Super Bowl. And they're just they're just an amazing team. I, I can't believe they actually went and won. It's just a dream come true. Uh, yeah, no, not really. I actually hate the Giants. I'm a huge Cowboys fan. And as you can tell, Got all this cowboy stuff. Tony Romo not doing too good. This stuff is actually up here quite a while ago. So yeah, Romo needs to step it up this year. Let's not choke. And here's this thing I got. Cowboy Stadium. Been there a couple times. I think I've been there a total of three times now. The new stadium is amazing. Probably one of the most advanced places I've ever seen in the world. And if you ever have a chance to go see a game, even if you don't like the Cowboys, go see a soccer game or a fighting game or something. It's a really amazing stadium. And up here, Tony Romo. Romo, Romo, Cowboys. Um, some beautiful cheerleaders there. There's the calendars. And there's a lamp that I use at night. There's a fan that when I use when it gets hot. More Cowboy stuff. Cowboys. Let's go ahead and take a look over here. I got some signed cheerleader posters here. And yeah, those are pretty cool. And there's a fat head up there. We'll take a look at what's up there in a second. And here's another one. This is probably the most important one besides the football that I have up there. This is the DeMarcus Ware signed one. That'll probably be valued really high later when he retires. Probably a future Hall of Famer right there. Probably going to keep this thing forever. This is a really nice one. And this one is Jenkins. He actually did not sign it. I don't even know if he's on the team anymore. I don't really care. He kind of sucked that last year. Let's go ahead and take a look up here. So what I'm doing up here is basically I put a bunch of my technology boxes and stuff up there just to show you guys like what I have, I guess, a display because I wasn't using it for anything before. So let's go ahead and take a look at each item. This is Mosby Juice Pack Air for the iPhone 3G that I used. iPhone 3G dock. This is the Logitech MX Performance mouse that I got. I really love that mouse. 
Um, here is the DeNovo Keyboard Mac Edition, which I don't even use anymore, so that thing is just sitting up there. And we also got Windows 7 box that's laying down, Dallas Cowboy stuff, some random orange hat that's up there. And here are my iPads. This is the iPad 2 on the left. And on the right, we got the new iPad. And here's actually some Bose QC2, I believe those ones are. They're the over-the-ear headphones, really nice headphones right there. And there's my camcorder that I'm using right now. And to the right of that is an amazing football signed by a bunch of people that I actually got when I went down there. I got the same thing. This is how I actually got the DeMarcus Ware one sign. I had a football as well, and I just got a bunch of different signatures there. You might be able to tell. DeMarcus Ware, number 94. And I can't even read the other ones. And on the right is the Nike Field Band that I'm wearing right there on my wrist. And a box for the iPhone 3G. They don't do that anymore. Blue Yeti microphone. Bose, iPhone 4, and a Dallas Cowboys hat. So guys, that's basically my room setup. Let's go ahead and take another look here. This is what we got going on. Xbox, Samsung, 46-inch TV, and my computer's over here. 27-inch iMac and the 24-inch cinema display. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this setup. What do you guys think? It's definitely better than the May setup, I think. I'll put a link to that again in an annotation. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and tell me what you think. Let me know if I can improve on anything and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.